previously on Fiji Time Island Life Vlog. We cleared the old furniture from the house and had a fire. We also explored the estate and visited some local beaches. We harvested some fruit from the garden in preparation for Daniela's arrival. Finally she was here, Matai Airport. Straight to work, cleaning the walls. And the windows. Thankfully, some of us haven't got vertigo. I was working too, promise. Daniela hit the ground running started exploring the area for herself. Oh, you got that. <laughs> Collecting avocados on the way to the beach for an early morning swim, one of our favorite pastimes. <laughs> we all like to swim in this household, as you'll find out in later episodes. While I like to collect the fruit, Daniela enjoys eating it. Traveling. Oh God. Yum yum. No, I see some at the bottom. <laughs> we even made it down to Tavuni Dive Resort for a few beers and a cheeky pizza. Oh my God. We should not have been there. Yeah, so kind of just realized um, for those of you who don't know us, um, we have a couple of little introductions. Um, I'm Thomas um, from the UK, English born and bred. Got the um, second highest mountain in Fiji here behind me. Um, yeah, reasons, reasons why we've come to Fiji. Uh, yeah, to retire a little bit earlier, um, get out of the rat race. Uh, 
yeah, a, a simpler, simpler way of life, basically. Um, something, something we've been dreaming of for for a long time. Um, it's taken about 14, 14 years of saving, so it's been a been a work in progress. Um, I had a life event uh, when I turned 30. I lost my sister, um, which hit me hard. Hit my parents hard. Hit my sister, other sister hard. Um, and I think that was the catalyst for me deciding that I wanted to wanted to 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 move abroad and um, yeah do do something a bit different. Um, yeah, I miss my sister dearly. Um, it, it hit me harder than I probably probably thought, and um, I didn't really talk about it. But yeah, buckled down, worked um, as many hours as possible, and here we are, Fiji, uh, Tavuni Island, um, the A-frame house. Um, yeah, what more to say? Here's Daniela. Hi, my name is Daniela, and I have recently moved to Fiji, Tavuni Island with my partner, Thomas. I have been dreaming about this for many years, and those who know me heard me bang on about it for ages. So I'm really happy that I finally made my dream a reality and made the big move. I really wanted to get out of the workaholic Western society, leave the hamster wheel and the rat race and live simpler, more joyful existence. In terms of the first impressions of the house, the 180 degree view is absolutely breathtaking and the nature is fantastic. It really feels quite rural and in the middle of nowhere. So that is quite nice. Um, inside of the house, not as, as quite as I expected, but never mind. We will work on the house probably for the next couple of years to get it up to the Beyonce standard. Uh, but once it's done up, it can be really fantastic. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to enjoy ourselves do things at our own pace and enjoy our pets that came with us do it all in fantastic nature so i really can't wait for the adventure to begin Here in between the trees you can see the highest point on Tavuli Island which is Mount Ulukwelu which stands at an impressive 4,040 feet. Tavuni Island is quite literally one of the great unspoilt places on earth. Let there be power! Power! I am just doc <laughs> I'm just documenting this ridiculously steep driveway. Whilst the installation had a few hiccups, our solar power was installed. Here's me with the gang. Let there be power! Fantastic rainbow.
A new day dawned and we went shopping for electrical equipment. So I've just managed to bodge my washing machine up. Hose pipe. This is Fiji style. I've been doing it uh, by foot, by hand. Um, but yeah, bought this washing machine. I'm not sure it's filling up to where it should do, but yeah, spinning around, right round. Yeah! Get your hand in there. It's the simple things in life that make the simple minds happy. I even became a self-taught electrician and we could buy proper food. So I woke up this morning with a new kettle, fridge, freezer. I thought, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll have a nice cup of tea. I sent Daniela to go and buy me tea yesterday. And she's bought me leaf tea. She hasn't bought me tea bags. So. Here is an impromptu tea bag. Thank you, Daniela. Daniela became very inventive with the leftover packaging and made a cat run. Time had arrived and I booked our flights to Suva to collect our pets from quarantine. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day Someone was pleased to see us. And others, not so much. We drove Daniela back to the airport and her cats and herself flew back to Tavuni in time for lunch. Dexter and myself had to take the long route round. Multiple road trips, multiple boat trips, 24 hours, overnighter.
whilst waiting for the ferry at Natovi. Dexter caused a bit of a stir and became a bit of a local celebrity. People calling his name, asking for photo opportunities. from Bitti Levu, from Natovi Wharf, across to Nabuwalu on the overnight ferry. Truck ride across Banwa Levu to Buka Bay. Finally, the Buka Bay to Wakiri Wharf, Sun City Speedboat Ferry. Dexter's new home was within barking distance. Bula. Bula. Try, wait. Don't let him jump. Wrong trip. I bet. Wait. Wait. Daniela groomed a second dog out of the poor, tired, hot baby. Finally time to put the paws up and relax for Dexter and the cats. And Daniela. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. The exploring, chasing moths and other shenanigans went on late into the first night. They sit there being judgmental because you're trying things And they just want you to settle and do the right thing So get a good job, don't slack off Wake up every morning, make a good impression on your boss Don't do anything that I wouldn't do And when you're making money, make sure you don't stop the food <laughs> Fuck that, I'll do what I wanna do I got a different path from everyone and that includes you Who were you to tell me how to live life in these times? It feels like nobody's right, yeah so I'ma figure out what else we succeed And then invest all of my time into that and proceed I need whatever the hell can make me 
happy And I don't think you have a clue What could that be They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something Moments like this will be cherished Me and Dexter having a late evening swim Could be special if I get rid of the devils. They think that I am a rebel. I think they want me to settle. There's nobody on my level. They think that work is too stressful. I think that work is essential. The grind is all in your mental. Yeah. I don't think you understand what I'll go through just to be in control of my life soon. All the negativity that I'm in, and I don't really need a mask with all I've been through. I've been making changes for the ages. Five, ten year plans are contagious. I attack that shit. I'm Thank you so, so much to the following people, without whom uh, nothing would have been possible with the animals. Graham at AfriVet in Parkstone. Pets Abroad, UK. We did the London to LA. Tailwind Global Pet in LA, who overnighted the animals and then sent them on their way to Fiji. Finally, Siobhan, find your feet, Fiji. She was fantastic. And Tupu. Tupu, my man, bro, without you, nothing would have been possible. Please like, share and subscribe. Till next time, Benaka. A banana plant takes nine months to grow and dies after you harvest the bananas.